2023 recap for southernpigskin.com. I'm Kevin Thomas with southernpigskin.com publisher BJ Bennett and southernpigskin.com editor Matt Osborne. Guys, at the end of day three of the SEC Media Days, and well, we're in Alabama, so no bigger rock star than one Nick Saban today. Well, I tell you what, when when Alabama comes to SEC Media Days, it's like the beginning of a of a rock show, and and, and Nick Saban came in with uh, Anthony Steen and AJ McCarron and and. Uh, T.J. Mosley, the linebacker that Georgia fans certainly well know, and you had hundreds of Bama fans gather in the lobby of the hotel and scream and shriek and cheer and chant every time they walk by. And You know, Nick Saban had a security team, and I think the guys are well aware of the expectations. They embrace the expectations. And here's something, Matt, that was talked about a lot. A.J. McCarron's legacy and the numbers of Tim Tebow and Cam Newton, no. But the question was asked multiple times, if they win the championship this fall, could he be – the greatest quarterback in college football history. Well, VJ, what's the job of a quarterback? To win games. To win football games. And there's been nobody better ever, I don't think, at winning football games than A.J. McCarron. Two seasons as a starting quarterback, two national championships. And, yeah, he's not going to have the same numbers because he doesn't play in an offense that's going to allow him to throw for a ton of yards or a ton of touchdowns. But look at what he did last year. 30 touchdowns, three interceptions. You're not going to find better efficiency than that ever. Every time he's under center for Alabama, they have a chance to win, and they are the favorite. A.J. McCarron, if he does it again this year, in my opinion, will go down as the greatest quarterback in college football history. And, of course, the other big talking point today on day number three of the SEC BD Days, guys, is the University of Georgia also in that SEC championship game. A lot of folks called it last year's de facto national championship game. Mark Rick and company, the players here, talked about being five yards away and fueling it, fueling that team, I should say, into 2013. And I thought Aaron Murray handled himself exceptionally well. You know, you knew he was going to face some tough questions, fair or unfair, about his performance in big games. I think this is a guy who's the leader for Georgia. I think this is a guy who's put Georgia in a position to win national championships. I mean, they were there last year. I think they'll be there potentially this year. And Aaron Murray is the bona fide leader of this team. Garrison Smith said that. Arthur Lynch said that. Mark Rick talked about it. And here's something else, a little off track that I wanted to touch on. It's been a trying offseason for Georgia with some indiscretions. Each guy that represented UGA talked about how thankful they were, Matt, to be able to have Mark Rick as a mentor. And I think that's worth mentioning. No, absolutely. Mark Rick, one of the true great guys in all of college football. But looking at this Georgia team, BJ and Kevin, you look at it, everybody knows they're going to put up a ton of points, return all five starters along the offensive front. Todd Gurley, Keith Marshall, Aaron Murray, Michael Bennett, Malcolm Mitchell, Arthur Lynch. The weapons are endless on offense. Now, the questions have been on the defense where you return three starters. How are you going to be able to play there? I don't think this is a Georgia defense that has to be elite to win. And we talk about all the time. If you want to win the national championship, it's not always about having the best team. Certain factors have to play in your favor. And I think if you're Georgia, the offense is going to be good enough for you to win. 10 or 11 games. The question is, the one game where the offense doesn't show up, is your defense going to rise to the occasion? Are they going to be good enough for one or two games to win? And then you have LSU and Vanderbilt uh, guys here as well today. Of two very quotable guys in Les Miles and James Franklin with a lot to prove here in 2013 as well. And I think there's a very real sense of optimism around Vanderbilt. Nashville media was well represented this week. And Vanderbilt with Jordan Matthews, with some of the talent they have in the skill positions, even on defense. I think this is a team, Matt, that has the confidence they can believe they can compete. They believe they can compete, excuse me, in the SEC East. Well, I'm sure this is true for every team, but it all comes down to the quarterback. You return three starters on the offensive line. You have the best wide receiver tandem in the league, pretty good running backs. Austin Carter Samuels, what type of production is he going to give you? I think if he ends up being a solid player, you're talking about Vanderbilt having one of the top offenses in the SEC, if not in the country. Now, do we know that he's going to be able to do that yet? Absolutely not. But if that all comes together, watch out. Vanderbilt is a sleeper in the SEC East. And guys, finally, this final day at SEC Media Days, give me a quick final overarching thought here from Hoover, Alabama. Well, I think it's, it's rock star status, movie stars. You know, when Johnny Manziel, A.J. McCarron, Aaron Murray, Mark Rick, Nick Saban step in the room, everything stops. And then everything moves when they move. So I think it's just a, an absolute show. I think it's that, and I also think it's just the passion of SEC fans in general because you saw it today, Alabama and Nick Saban's here. Hundreds and hundreds of Alabama fans waiting just for a chance to even get a glimpse of them. You saw it all week when Mississippi State was here, when Kentucky was here. Dozens and dozens of fans are sitting here waiting, trying to get an autograph. You really see the true passion of SEC football fans, SEC football media members, coaches, players all come out here in Hoover. That's going to do it from Hoover, Alabama. SEC Media Days in the books for B.J. Bennett and Matt Osborne. I'm Kevin Thomas here on southernpigskin.com.